Well, hi everyone, it's a payroll and Excel update video here on December 7th, 2021. Um, I, I've added some things related to PTO hours and PTO balance. I've been asked about this numerous times and I've built it for different clients over the past several years, but it wasn't in the main template version. And, and what I mean is, you, you know, if you have accrued vacation hours that, that people hold, you know, at the beginning of the year is they'll have some vacation that they've earned that they, they can still use in this new year sometimes. What is that balance? How many hours does that person have right now? And also, how many hours do they earn each pay period toward their you know vacation every pay period? There's usually a fixed amount. And that goes here. So let's assume that this employee earns four hours um, per pay period and that they started with a 50 hour balance of, of PTO or vacation. That's simply how you would enter that in there on, on the employee info sheet now. And when you then go into the daily entry sheet and you start putting in the person's hours for each day, if, if, they, if they use some of that vacation, it, it goes in this column right here for PTO hours used. You just type it there. And now you've, you've got everything you need uh, when you're running your, your pay stubs and looking at your pay period hours is all the PTO hours that get used show up right here automatically. And then over on the right, uh, way off to the right, I've got this this automatically calculating what the um, hours balance is now after they used PTO. So this person had 50 to start, and they used 36, which put them down to 14 plus the four that they earned for this period, and now they have 18. And, and it's set to accrue the hours of um, accrue the hours the person earned only if they work some hours in the pay period. If they don't work any hours in the pay period at all and this is zero, it will not accrue whatever that standard hours that's supposed to be accrued for the person's vacation. So if that's a caveat or you know if that's involved with how your company works, if a person works, they accrue vacation. If they don't work, they don't accrue vacation. That's that's the way this is set up. So. Anyway, um, it, it's moved over to the pay stub as well now. Um, so at the bottom, you got PTO hours that were accrued during a period and what the cumulative balance would be at each pay period cycle. Notice it'll change. Um, yeah, this person stopped working but stopped using, so it stayed at 18. Yeah, it, it's very cool now. So it, it, it works with the pay stub. It's... Um, it, it can be, we can also have a report that can be generated off the dynamic pivot that will allow you to show everyone's vacation and when they used it if you want to do that as well. Um, that's something that can be built off this. But basically, it's, it's something that I have been wanting to do in, in a main version for a while, and it's pretty easy to do, right? Just, just starting balance of hours, how many do they accrue per pay period, when they use them, note them in this column, and everything's good. <laughs> so... That is PTO added to the payroll and Excel template version. Uh, I've sent this out to everyone who subscribes. You can subscribe. A lifetime subscription is actually now $150. It used to be $100. Now it's $150. And I'm going to keep raising it as I get more and more business. Because um, this thing is, it's, I think it is the greatest payroll Excel. It is the greatest payroll organizing file in Excel ever built. That, that's the claim I'll make. And it's only getting better as we make it even better. So uh, we'll continue doing that um, in perpetuity here. All right. Good luck. Payroll should be easy. Make it so.